Hey y'all, I'm symptomistic like optimistic but make it sims. And I'm back with another video with Alicia and Rich in the Rags to Riches, a love story. And if you have not seen the previous videos, please click the top right hand link in the corner. And right now we are not feeling the love. Alicia is very stressed out from a long day at work. She has also discovered that there is another mouse in this apartment again. So Alicia is going to complain to the landlord because she's she's tired of it. Like she's just tired. And there's like sparks flying. Like a lot is happening right now. She just got home from a hard day at work, which is not home yet. And this apartment, I'm I'm over it. But, you know, they cannot afford to move right now and this is not like the lifestyle that Alicia is accustomed to growing up in so she's kind of disappointed that all of this is happening she is working harder than she thought she would she has to take care of Kenya and why is the landlord sitting on the bed instead of fixing the problem so Alicia's gonna go over and be like hey Clearly, we have a hole in the wall. Can you please do something about that? And there's literal sparks flying. Now, on a positive note, Rich got promoted again. He is now regional manager. So kudos to him. That's great. But we had a lot going on in this apartment. I did neglect to mention that Alicia also got promoted, but she didn't even have time to enjoy it because of all the drama going on in the house. But congratulations to Alicia as well. She is now community manager. So she is moving up in the public relations field. Alicia talks some sense into the landlord and now the landlord is fixing the place where there were literal sparks flying. Since baby Kenya seems kind of unfazed, Alicia is just going to read and maybe that'll make her feel better. Now, Rich is also very intense, even though he got promoted. Y'all know the other day was lottery day, and Jeffrey Landgrab won the freaking lottery. The last person that needs to win the lottery won the lottery, and the news just annoyed Rich. It's making Rich feel like the rich get richer, and he's just really frustrated with that. So it looks like everything is all fixed up in the apartment. I don't know where this giant puddle came from. If you guys know where the, the puddles, why the puddles appear in this apartment, it doesn't really make sense to me because it doesn't come from a pipe, but I feel like random puddles just appear in this apartment and it's annoying, but it looks like Alicia is cooling off and playing with Kenya, so that's great. I know they had a lot of tension in their relationship earlier in the week, so it's nice that they're getting along better and just having a good time. And I think because they're so tense, I'm probably actually going to have them take off tomorrow because they they haven't taken a day off. They have reached 5,000 simoleons, so it is about that time to make over the apartment. And they should enjoy that accomplishment. They worked hard, so they're going to enjoy that. Baby Kenya is tired, and she has to use the potty, so... Let's get her together. Alicia is feeling good because things are fixed in the apartment, but she's still missing some fun. Yeah, I think it's about time they take some time off. Rich is in the bathtub. The comments last week or last video about Rich <laughs> taking so many showers and bath, I think that was like in our in our chat. And if you did not join the premiere chat you need to join them like they're so they're so fun and they're like we talk about random stuff we also talked about like hey arnold and rugrats so that was fun too but now i'm like over aware of rich and his cleaning schedule so that's really funny now that rich is clean again he's gonna do some reading and relax with ken with alicia and kenya is probably gonna put herself to bed very soon because kenya is a very mature toddler let me know if you want to see me age her up in the next video i've been spoiler alert she doesn't age up in this video i've been kind of waiting and anaya is calling because she wants to go out tonight but i think alicia is just too tired so we're gonna pass on going out tonight 
as I was saying, let me know if you think Kenya is ready to age up in the next video. I feel like she's very high on her skills, usually more high on her skills than I let the toddlers get before I age them up. So let me know what you guys think. The rest of the evening should be pretty quiet. They're just going to read and tidy up a little bit. So they will check back in with you later. It is the next day and I gave the home a little makeover. Now pardon my tour you guys like if any of you have tips on how to improve this maybe I should have done screenshots. I don't know leave them in the comments but this is the entryway. I decided to give them like an accent wall and that wallpaper from the Moschino stuff pack. I just made the kitchen area like all white. I thought it would be nice. I gave them a little bookshelf instead of like just the books in the on the floor in the bedroom like they had before. And this allowed them to put up Rich's trophies and his little placard. And this is the bathroom. I just gave it a little splash of yellow and nothing too interesting there. And then moving on, now Kenya has her own room. It doesn't have a door because she's a little toddler, but she has her own room, just a bed and her potty's in there. Another accent wall. The theme of this apartment is accent walls because they couldn't afford to paint the whole apartment. So accent wall in every room and there's a green accent wall in the bedroom. I just thought green because, you know, rags to riches, maybe... You know, in the U.S., money is green, so maybe their money is green in the Sims world. The mirrored bed is CC, the sink is CC, the high chair is CC, and I thought it matched nicely with the wall. And I just gave them a little couch so they can finally sit, and that's about it. Now we are at the park a little later in the day, and Alicia has met up with Gabriella. Now, if you remember or don't remember, Gabriella is the girl she met at the club, when she went to hang out with Anaya and she seemed really sweet and like cute fashion sense so they had some things in common so they're just having a casual get together today at the park in San Maishuno. They are standing in the entryway of the park so I'm just trying to get the angles correct so we can see them both but Alicia wants to get to know Gabriella a little better and see how much they really have in common if they will be as close as she is with Anaya or this will be a more casual friend. Alicia is in need of amusement so maybe I can find something in the park for them to do right now and Gabriella is a caregiver so that means she's like a nurturing sweet person and likes to take care of different sims so hopefully that will be a good jumping off point. It looks like it got a little too cold for Gabriella, so she's going to head inside. I kind of want them to observe the sky, but I don't think they can do it together. So Alicia's going to head inside with Gabriella. Gabriella lit the fireplace, so that'll be nice. But now it looks like Gabriella is walking away. So Gabriella might be a little all over the place because she went inside and now she's heading back outside and Alicia is like, all this walking, like I did not plan to exercise today and be running through this park. Oh, but this looks really nice. Gabriella found a piano. Apparently she plays the piano and this looks like the wedding area of the park. So that's, that's cute. So I guess Alicia is going to go over here and listen to Gabriella play. And for those that know me, they already know I don't play the game with the sound on, so I never hear The Sims playing the piano or the bad singing. But if you're new to this channel, yeah, I don't, I don't know if she's good or bad at the piano because I don't have my sound on. And it looks like she is already over it. I don't know where she's going now, but Gabriella seems to be a little bit of a busybody. I don't see that in her description of personality, but every time Alicia seems to catch up with her in the park, She's moving around. I've had to pause the game just to like get them together. But hopefully they can just sit in this very cute wedding area and get to know each other a little more. It seems like Gabrielle is kind of innocent. So I guess that shows that she's not intentionally all over the place. She's just a little scatterbrained. Even though Alicia has basically been chasing her through the park, it looks like they gained a sentiment, so they really enjoy spending time together, or Alicia really enjoys spending time with Gabriella, so that's nice, and 
Alicia's going to tell Gabriella a little bit about being a close-knit sim and how she doesn't have a lot of friends in her group, so she's happy to meet and get to know her and have this great time with her. So they are about to head home, and we will check in with you in the next scene. It's Friday night, and everyone's exhausted, but Rich is here painting, trying to make some more money for the family, so that's really nice. While Kenya is fast asleep, and so is Alicia, he's up working hard, and I just thought that was really sweet, so I wanted to share that with you guys. It is Saturday morning, and Kenya and Alicia are just up eating breakfast, Kenya has made a mess and I'm realizing I'm going to have to put in a thermostat because it's freezing, which is fine. They have enough money for that. So I'm just going to add that in really quickly. Saturday has been extremely chill. Rich has been reading. Alicia has been doing some painting to make a little more money. Kenya has been playing and just wandering around the apartment. And Rich has been in a really chill mood and he has that like emotionally fine or emotionally mindful moodlet that you get. I think this comes with the snowy escape stuff pack. So I'm just trying out what a mindful walk is. It doesn't look that much different than a regular walk, but I'm trying that out to see if anything interesting happens. Just him taking like a walk around the neighborhood. Hopefully he sees some interesting people or something happens. So... Yeah, I feel like that's perfect for like a quiet Saturday, not not much to do. Everyone was off Friday, so they're pretty relaxed. And I think it's enough time for Rich to go be by himself and be alone with his thoughts. And I think he really needs that right now. I also wanted to bring up extremely random thing I noticed while playing the game. That the spray interaction for cleaning the high chair or maybe cleaning anything else I think it's just the high chair is like the same spray interaction to get a, get rid of the roaches random but I just noticed that and I was just checking in to see if anything interesting is going on in the apartment it looked like Alicia finished her painting so I'm gonna have her admire that before she sells it it, it also looks like Kenya needs to take a bath or wants to take a bath yeah she's a little angry because she's a little grungy but she's still playful from playing for a while so I'll just have Alicia clean Kenya up a little bit and baby Kenya looks so cute in the bathtub and it looks like her and Alicia are having a good fun playful time in the tub I know they've been having some disagreements because Kenya is kind of She's at the terrible twos or she's a toddler and she just wants to do what she wants to do. But at least they're enjoying the bathtub right now. So it's later in the day. And first off, I just want to state that nothing interesting happened with the mindful walk. So guys, please leave in the comments and let me know if I just didn't let him walk long enough. But like, I felt like he was walking for hours and literally nothing happened. So now Rich, after his walk, where he did clear his mind and feel refreshed and he's still in an emotionally mindful state, he decided to take Alicia to the romance festival. So now they're currently having some romance tea and it'll be nice for them to have some alone time together. This will be kind of their date night. So thank you Simply Nisi for suggesting they have a nice little festival date in the comments because... They deserve it. They've been working really hard. They've almost made back at least half of the money that they spent in the weekend redesigning the apartment back from like doing their paintings and not even going to work. So they're definitely on the track to make money much quicker. It is going to take them some time to get to 20,000 20, simoleons. But right now they're not going to worry about any of that. They're just going to have a good time at the romance festival. I hate when they when the sims sit in like the wrong place. Obviously they're together. They should be sitting together. But I don't know who this guy with the fro is. I thought it was um, Baco, but it's not him. I also am really happy that I'm starting to see more cute looking townies. I feel like, I don't know if some of these are probably EA townies, but some of these are definitely people I added in the game. So I'm just happy to see that. I don't know why they cannot get up and kiss. So I'm just going to have them go stand over 
here. They look so cute in their winter outfits. I haven't really gotten to see them that much. Is this their first winter or fall? I think it is. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know if you remember in the comments. But I feel like I haven't really seen them in their winter outfits. So Rich just threw some rose petals at her just so she can like get into the festival spirit. And now we're going to have Rich flirt with her or express her express fondness to her and she's just I think she was also not in the greatest mood before she left things had started going well with Kenya and when they were like in the bathtub and then Kenya started to act up again Yuki Bear is calling Alicia really hasn't had time to hang out with the book club especially because she's made so many new friends let me know if you want to see her go hang out with the book club or the avant-garde that's what they're called again I feel like Alicia kind of has her own friends now and that was kind of a jumping off point I don't want her to completely lose track of those friendships but you know she does have a lot going on she has a kid so many things happened since she joined the avant-garde I don't know about anyone else but one of my favorite things is when they turn the lights on at the festivals in the city. I just think everything looks so much better. It's like that weird lighting right before because it gets dark, but they haven't turned the, like, I guess, street lights on. I'm going to have them go over here and dance because we know Alicia loves to dance. And we haven't seen, well, we saw Rich dance a little bit, but they haven't really gotten to dance together. So I'm going to have them go over here and dance. And Alicia actually really wants to buy a t-shirt from the festival but she's not gonna bring it up she just wants to be responsible with money she knows they just redecorated and she was really excited about that rich is just picking up some harvestables because he had the whim to do so so he's gonna pick up some harvestables and hopefully he can sell those because now he doesn't have anywhere to garden them or maybe he'll save some and give them to alicia or kenya as a gift that would be really sweet and now Alicia's like, come on, how are you even pick up these, these flowers so we can dance? Not over there, Rich. Go over to Alicia so you guys can dance together. And I don't know who this lady is that's walking by, but she needs to stay over there because Rich and Alicia are having their moment. Alicia is really enjoying the romance music. They look so cute dancing together. I hope they get to go out more. Rich wants to send a flirty text, but I don't know who he wants to send a flirty text to because his wife is right there. And Alicia is getting better at dancing. I'm surprised she's only at level two since she's kind of a dance machine and she's been out clubbing. But I guess she's still coming out of her shell of learning how to dance more. As Rich and Alicia are dancing, look who we see. It is Anaya hanging out at you know what I didn't realize Anaya was part of the avant-garde and they're just gonna make out in front of Anaya whatever floats their boat but yeah we see Anaya out at the romance festival it looks like she came by herself I don't know if she just happened to be in the neighborhood but Alicia is excited to see her and she's definitely excited to see Alicia and Rich actually has not met Anaya in person so Rich is going to introduce himself to Anaya and say like hey you know I've heard so much about you. It's funny because Alicia is excited to see Anaya but she's also like kind of still buzzed off the romance tea so she's doing all this flirting with Rich and they're kissing and Anaya's like oh you guys need to you, you know you can go up to your apartment for that but she's just happy to not be by herself at the romance festival and what do you guys think is going on with Anaya why is she out at the romance festival by herself is she just like super independent and just enjoying her break does she happen to be in the neighborhood leave in the comments what you think is going on with Anaya and Alicia's moods have been swinging a little bit because she's PMSing and Rich is like, that's okay, I have a surprise. Wow, Alicia really loved that surprise and paid him back very quickly. So I guess the surprise worked and she's in a better mood for now. She's Her moods have been a little up, down, up and down with like 
her PMSing and the stuff going on with Kenya too. It's a lot. About that time where we wrap up the video. So I can't wait to hear what you guys want to see in the next video. Please leave comments as much as you can. This one is not too long, but I edited out a lot of footage because it became filler and it became really repetitive. And I, I know everyone wants to see gameplay, but I kind of like things to actually be happening in the story. So I try to find a nice balance between that. But yeah, let me know what you want to see more of in the next video. It might be time for Kenya to age up. I'm not sure. Would love your thoughts. What is going on with Anaya at this festival? And I'm symptomistic like optimistic, but make it Sims. Until next time, like comment share and subscribe oh yeah and follow me on twitter at symptomistic bye